Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. The weather is getting nice and warm, so you all know what that means. Beach days and campfires. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this delicious chocolate s'mores tart with toasted Swiss meringue. I know that sounds like a mouthful, but don't worry, this is a lot of fun to make. If you're looking for something delicious to make for 4th of July weekend, or a fun casual cookout with your friends and family, this is the dessert to make. It is so delicious, it smells amazing, it just brings back memories of roasting marshmallows over the campfire. You cannot go wrong with this recipe. I hope you are all ready to make this delicious tart. So with that being said, let's put on our chef's coats and let's get baking. To make the chocolate tart, you'll need nine ounces of Ghirardelli chocolate, one and three quarter cups of heavy cream, four egg yolks, one whole egg, four ounces of granulated sugar, and a quarter cup of water. And for the crust, you'll need one to one and a half sticks of unsalted butter and two packages of graham crackers. To get started, grind up the graham crackers either in a plastic bag or in a food processor, then place them into a large bowl. Melt the butter and mix it with the graham crackers until it's moldable. Pour the mixture into your tart pan and pat it down until it is completely covered. Place the pan off to the side and now let's start making the chocolate tart. First, melt the chocolate either in the microwave or using the double boiler method. Once it is all melted, place it off to the side to chill. In your electric mixer, use your whisk attachment and whip the cream softly. Place the whipped cream off to the side, then after cleaning your bowl and whisk attachment, place the egg and egg yolks in the bowl and mix. Heading back over to the stove, add in the sugar and water. And let it cook until it reaches 249 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you do not mix the sugar and water. Let them cook on their own. Once it reaches 249 degrees Fahrenheit, Bring the sugar water mixture over to the electric mixer and with it running on high speed, add it to the egg mixture. Whip all the ingredients until it turns a pale yellow color. Remove the bowl from the mixture, then gently fold in the chocolate
Then fold in the whipped cream. Once everything is combined, pour the chocolate mixture into the pan. Place plastic wrap right on top of it to prevent skin from forming. Then pop it into the refrigerator for a few hours or overnight so it can firm up. Now it's time to make the Swiss meringue. You'll need four egg whites, one cup of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. In a large bowl, combine the egg whites, sugar, cream of tartar, and salt. Then bring it over to the stove. Similar to the double boiler method when melting chocolate, place the bowl over a saucepan with simmering water and whisk constantly until the sugar is dissolved and the egg whites are warm to touch. You can see if the sugar is dissolved by dipping a finger into the mixture and rubbing it between your fingers. Once it is smooth and not grainy, remove it from the stove. In your electric mixer, use your whisk attachment and pour the mixture in. Beat it on medium-low speed until it is foamy. Gradually increase the speed until it creates a stiff peak that droops slightly and the bowl is no longer warm to touch. A stiff peak is when a mixture keeps its shape and almost looks like a mountaintop. Finally, add the vanilla extract and beat it until it is all combined. And now you have a delicious Swiss meringue for your tart. Now that your tart has had time to chill, and the meringue is made, it is time to assemble. In a piping bag with a large star tip, I filled the bag with the Swiss meringue. I piped meringue drops all over the surface until it was covered completely. This decorating process is completely optional. You can use a different piping tip or can simply spread the meringue over the tart with either a spoon or a spatula. Now it's time to turn up the heat. 
Using a kitchen torch, lightly toast your meringue until it creates a nice color that reminds us all of roasting marshmallows over a campfire. And now you're ready to serve this delicious summer dessert. And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that notification button so you know when the next video is. Also, share this video with your friends and family and tell them to subscribe. It's totally free to do so and we have a lot of fun on this channel. If you guys would like me to try other baking technique ideas or themes, please comment them down below. And if any of you recreate any of the delicious treats and desserts I've made on this channel, please DM me at this Instagram account to get an awesome shout out. Hope everyone is staying safe and well. Enjoy your s'mores tarts and enjoy this lovely summer weather. Bye!